um, of today's chapel is that hip hop is not merely entertainment, but it's deeply theological. I'll say that again. Hip hop is not merely entertainment, but it is deeply theological. It has severe theological empathy. Yeah, okay, you can shout if you want. That's, that's cool. All right, so can, can, can y'all help me unpack that statement? How does hip hop culture correlate with theology and why should theologians, people of the Moody Bible Institute, who are studying to be pastors and leaders of the church, why should they consider the influence of hip hop? Yeah, um, so the, the, the key to this one is, is understanding the theological implications of where God resides when we look at scripture. God always resides on the bottom of empire. From the beginning of the text, when we read the Bible, we see Israel in on the bottom of the Egyptian empire and their God inhabits, works with, frees, liberates those people. And all throughout the text, you see God contis consistently show up, whether it's the bottom of the Babylonian empire, whether it's the, right, right, the, 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 the bottom of the Persian empire. And then when you get into the New Testament, you see an Afro-Asiatic occupied Jesus of Nazareth on the bottom of the empire in Jerusalem and God showing up for the people who are on the bottom. Why does that coincide with hip hop? Because hip hop is created out of a culture uh, or created as a culture from people who are on the bottom of the American empire. People who have been left out, who have been uh, left to die. For, I mean, when you read the history of, of hip hop and we don't have time to go into all of it, there is a theological implication that comes from people being marginalized, oppressed, that makes them rely on God. The same thing we see with the civil rights movement and all the way before that, anytime people are marginalized and oppressed, there is a reliance on God that brings new theological perspectives. First, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed, liked, commented. I appreciate everything that you've said. No matter what you've said, I appreciate the likes. Please share this with your friends. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you hit that share button. We're trying to make sure that everybody know that they're not victims, that they're empowered for greatness, that we can make a difference again in this nation that we can stand up for biblical values, we can stand up for truth and push back against all the lies and everything that's false that's taking place in this land. So I appreciate that. And please, thank you for looking at my videos and participating and making our voice known. So there was this video that I just saw, courtesy of Woke Preacher Clips, of I guess some ministers talking about how hip hop is a theology or just talking about the theology of hip hop. And it caused me to think and to reflect on what hip hop really is to the black community. And you know what hip hop is? Hip hop is a theology of the devil. Hip hop is the theology of the devil. Let me explain. John 10.10 says a thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. And that's exactly what hip hop glorifies. Stealing, taking from others, killing a lot of black people and destroying lives, destroying lives of women. It brags about all those things. Just look at some of the examples we've had in the last year from Little Nas X to Travis Scott and the fiasco and the devastation and the destruction that happened at this concert. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, you have this drill music that talks about drilling other black boys and black men by shooting them and killing them and how all the misogynistic and, and the pornographic and the promiscuity that's prevalent within hip hop. All of those things are there. And yet this man would like to say hip hop is the voice of, of Christianity, the voice of theology, all those things. There's nothing compatible in hip hop. I'm not talking about Christian hip hop now. Let me set the record straight. I love hip hop. I'm a fan of hip hop. I've been listening to hip hop since since I remember. I mean, going, I was a Tupac guy. I love some pop. But as I've become 
more and more a follower of Christ, I've recognized that hip hop, I'm talking about the worldly, the secular hip hop, not the Christian hip hop, but even some of those things have some elements of, of the world in it as well. But I'm mostly focusing on the satanic influence, the worldly influence of hip hop. That is what I mean when I say that hip hop is the theology of the devil because everything for the most part in these latest hip hop songs are demonic or satanic because there's nothing uplifting, there's nothing encouraging, there's nothing that blesses your soul. When you listen to that music, it makes you angry, it makes you wanna fight. That's why when he talks about that hip hop is the voice of the oppressed, why would I wanna listen to a music that reminds me of being oppressed? Even the old Negro spirituals, they weren't based on oppression. They were always talking about lifting up. They were always talking about encouragement. As a matter of fact, they were used as, 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 as codes, as phrases to indicate things and passages on the Underground Railroad. They were used to uplift black people. So why do we listen to things that destroy us, that lead to our destruction? I'll tell you why, because it is intentional. It's meant to drive Jesus, to drive God out of black community. It's meant to bring destruction. It's meant to destroy the community. Think about it. All the rappers that have been killed, all the rappers that have been shot, all the lives that have been destroyed. Hip hop has been a contributing factor to that. And I'm sorry people may disagree with me on that. They say, oh, it's just music. No, life and death is in the power of the tongue. The devil was the minister of music in heaven. You have to understand spiritual aspects of things. There is a spiritual component to every physical thing that you see. Everything starts in the spiritual realm and manifests itself in the natural realm. And so when you are listening to music that is destructive, it gets in your spirit, leads to you repeating those destructive things. And that was happening in our community. And a lot of it is because the rage, it is the voice of the the oppressed. It is the voice of the vulnerable. It is the voice of those who hate this country. And it's been poisoned. It's been poisoned by the executives who have utilized this as a weapon against the black community. And because of the lack of fathers, because of the lack of direction, and I hate to say it, because of the lack of spying of a lot of ministers in the black community, this has become so large and has permeated the very fiber of our community that hip hop now defines the community. Whereas before it was the church, whereas before it was people's faith in God in the black community that defined it. No, as the black community has become more secular, then hip hop has become the dominant voice of the community. And you know what comes along with that? Single parenthood, babies born outside of marriage, crime rate rising, all of those things are a derivative of hip hop being the voice of the community because the community has become more and more secular. We have to understand, when we listen to stuff that paints us as victims, we will start to think like a victim. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness, but we must stop listening to things that are contrary to that message. We must stop listening to things that want to kill, steal, and destroy. And I hate to say it, the majority of hip hop is doing it is contributing to the racial issues we are experiencing, it is contributing to the rift that we're experiencing in this nation. It is. Because what it does, it is a reflection of how we see ourselves as black people and how other people see the black community. They see the only interaction a lot of people have with the black community is through hip hop music. And so that influences their biases and that influences how they see and the stereotypes of how they see the community. People outside the community see black men as, as philanderers, as irresponsible. And that's why they have that portrait of black men. It's wrong. A lot of black fathers are determined to take care of their families. But because of the music that has been exported out of the community, a lot of people see black men as worthless, as irresponsible, as, as people that abandon their family. And that's not the case either. But because of what we are projecting outside of the community, that is what people see. We need to project family. We need to project strong men. We need to project strong nuclear families. We need to project a biblical worldview, biblical standards. 
That's what we need to project out of our community. And if people want to put hip hop into a positive light, I'm all for it. Because we definitely need more of it than what we're seeing right now, what we're listening to right now. We do. We are not victims. We are not victims. We must stop listening to music, stop listening to people that want to paint us as oppressed and paint us as victims. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button smash the subscription bell share this with everybody you know we're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims that they are empowered for greatness and all of this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end so please i appreciate that share that